We have this post courtesy of staying grounded regarding Kirby and Frost's collaboration with McDonald's. Um, I think it's absolutely true to dash, to be fair. Um, I think Kirby and Frost is a psyop. <laughs> He's definitely a psyop in some regard. I've never really got his appeal in the slightest. Um, I think the interview show that he does is, you know, it's a bit mediocre. I think it's good because he's friends with those people and they're comfortable around him and shit. But I don't think he's even a good interviewer. Um, I don't like the shit that he wears. His face kind of annoys me. And this collaboration could just get thrown in the bin. I think so. You could just throw this in a volcano and you could burn it all. And I don't think anyone would care. I really don't. This is absolutely diabolically horrendous. So it says here, courtesy of Stay Grounded, Kevin Frost is back with his own McDonald's collab in a meal um, dropping on Monday 11th of December, I guess in the States probably, along with his McNuggets buddies. He's got these McNuggets buddies, t-shirts and hoodies. This collab includes a new footwear silhouette called the Fry Guy Shoes that are going to be worn in Cohen Frost's character. The portion of the proceeds of the sales are going to be contributed to the Harlem Arts Alliance, an organization that helps the um, young adults with the community to spark a creativity. His quote, I've loved McDonald's since I was a kid. Oh, really? We could never tell. Um, I've even made had my own McDonald's doll I brought to picture day at school. And it was my dream to collect. <laughs> it was my dream. Imagine having a dream to collect McDonald's toys, um, to collect all the McNugget buddies. Now coming, now coming up with my own special set of buddies, each one representing different aspects of my self-expression. It's unreal. A dream come true. McDonald's has been a great partner from day one. <laughs> This is some psyop shit, I swear to God. I hope the Kobe and Frost box will serve as a reminder of people to hone their creativity. He wants people to, while people are fucking shoving ch McDonald's chicken nuggets into their faces, while they're dipping those McDonald's chicken nuggets into sweet and sour sauce, cause that's the only way to eat them, and they're guzzling them and they're fuck, you know, while they're fucking still drunk, still high, right, with their ass hanging out. They should remember how to be creative, right? Creativity is going to rule the world, it's going to heal the world. Like, Come on, brother. Anyway, let, here's some of the McNuggets buddies that are going to be part of the fucking collab. Okay, I guess. There's almost something quite gollywogish about these, isn't it? Like, there's something quite, like, I don't know, quite racist about these McNugget buddies. I don't know what it is, but there's something quite racist about them. I don't know why. <laughs> but if you went into your friend's house and he had these on his fucking you know, on his shelf somewhere, you might give him a little bit of a look, like, what the fuck's, what, what are those about, right? Eh? Either he's into some weird corporate juju, or he's, you know, I don't know. And there's different types of McBuddy's buddies, right? There's one called a Kerwin, of course. There's an Uptown Mo. There's one called Brick, Brick. Um, there's one called Dala. There's one called Don Bernice. And there's one called Wafuto. I don't know. Even the names sound very racist. Like, why are all these, like, what's going on here? Like, what is this? It continues. There's also the box for the Happy Meal, which is quite cool. The design of the Happy Meal box is quite cool. I love all the illustrations around it. Um, all right. That's all right. Um, and then, of course, his meal, uh, Cohen Frost's meal with McDonald's is a Big Mac or chicken nuggets. You didn't pick a drink or anything else. You just picked a Big Mac and chicken nuggets. That's what. So he's trying to he's trying to act like he does. He just he eats one thing from McDonald's and that's it. Okay, fair play then I guess. But I couldn't imagine anything worse. And also he's also he's also got a pair of shoes that he's dropping too. So those are the shoes. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. They're these blue sandals with blue eyes on them. I don't know why he'd wear. I guess they're meant to be Crocs or something. I don't know what they are, but they look horrendous. And there's also a wristband. There's also, a, is that jacket part of the McDonald's collaboration? I'm not really sure. There's, there's a purple jacket with styles all over them. This whole collection is absolutely dog shit. Maybe the best thing about it is the hat. Maybe the hat's all right, the top hat. There's a black top hat with a Tiffany blue band that has a McDonald's logo on it. Maybe that's something that you could wear, unironically. I can see Wings of Redemption wearing it as he's stuffing his face with a burger. But overall, that is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's see the comments on Stay Grounded. What was his come up? Every time I ask people just to tell me, he's some guy interning for Adidas for years. Really? I didn't know that. Um, who would have thought a dude who went viral for getting beat up by Carti would have his own McDonald's meal? Yeah, th that's true. His come up has been quite cool. So I guess if you're a kid and you're just like a fan of the scene, the fact that he's come up without really 
I don't know, doing anything of no and just being like an interesting dude because he wears, you know, he has like interesting outfits and shit. That might be a part of his inspiration, but just looking at it in isolation, this stuff is fucking horrendous. Um, is he being nice to his wife now? Um, oh yeah, he did that thing with his wife, innit? I'm not too sure what happened there. I could care less about that now. Can y'all collab with a restaurant with food that won't kill us, please? This is awesome, by the way. I just don't like McDonald's. But that's the thing though. I guess it's... I don't really mind that he's collaborating with McDonald's, right? I don't really give a fuck that it's bad for you and shit. Fair enough. I think if you're a fat dude and you like McDonald's, you should collaborate with them. You shouldn't try and collaborate with fucking, or I don't know, what's the fucking salad company? Whatever, right? It doesn't make any sense. If you eat that shit, collab with it, put it out there. You know what I mean? You, you're not you're not putting back, you're not putting back out more toxic shit than already exists. It kind of is what it is. Don't touch him, Carty. We need to come together and make selling out uncool again. Um, I don't think selling out has ever been uncool. It's always been uncool. But I just don't think Cohen is that cool that it would matter. Do you know what I mean? No one's thinking that he's at the forefront of being cool or avant-garde in any way, shape or form. He just does his own thing. Um, so, But I think selling out has always been uncool. It's never not going to be uncool, especially if you sell out in this way. But again, he's doing his own thing. I don't really have a problem with him doing what he's doing. I just have an issue with the stuff being so shit, you know? And I also have the, an issue with this stuff being, you know, just gaudy and terrible looking and the meal is even that interesting either what's the meal the meal is just what a a burg big mac and nuggets is that it where's the upside down christmas tree saw the pic first and thought it was a cam cam newton <laughs> that's hilarious free palestine and this is cool as fuck remember when he left his wife and kid to bang some girl for a few weeks and then came back and all of a sudden he was see <laughs> yeah big up cohen Everyone, I guess deep down, all, all men would love to leave their wives, just bang a random and then come back home and like, you know what? I made a mistake. <laughs> and because your wife is desperate or your baby mom is desperate for help, she'll just take you back anyway. I think deep down, all men would love to do that. All men would have the ability to just leave their house, leave their kids, leave their dogs and just go and bang somebody else for like a week and then come back later when they're fucking done. I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean it. <laughs> And then get a McDonald's collaboration and act like nothing happened. That's pretty, pretty cool. That's a pretty cool life to live. It's very risky. I don't think you could do it if you don't have money or clout and stuff. I think regular people like you and I couldn't do that. But I think if you have money and clout and fame, I think you could get away with a lot, to be fair. You really could get away with a lot. It's fucking bad and sad to say that, but it kind of is what it is. But yeah, that collaboration is terrible. I will not be eating it. I will not be buying it. And it kind of is what it is. But big up Kerwin for getting to the bag. And hopefully he cashed that check ASAP.